you want to know if you should make or not an airdrop when launching a token? The answer is yes, under some conditions. Basically, the main reason is engagement. If you are making an airdrop, your engagement will go to the moon. Actually, like that. If you make the airdrop properly, your interaction will not just pump, will go crazy. The best way to attract their attention is promising them you will give them free money. It's easy, it's simple, and that's the reason why you should make an airdrop. But the reason why you should them is that it's not that easy to make an airdrop, it's not that easy to make it worth it, and it's not that easy to don't make your project die when doing an airdrop. First of all, you need to take on account that making an airdrop is really expensive. You need to spend money and time on making the whole marketing strategy, and you need to spend a ton of money to distribute the tokens for the airdrop. For both of them, I have an answer and I have a solution that will help you. You can make the airdrop in two different ways. Uh, in the first one, you can just distribute in the tokens and send the tokens directly to all people you want to send the tokens to, and you will be spending 0.002 Solana per wallet. It means if you are making an airdrop of 1000 wallet, you will be spending two sol. Or you have another option, which is the key to make your airdrop worth it, and it's making a claim site. You can rather hide a dev, you can just create a claim site with a no code tool like Smithy, okay? In here, I explain how to do that. And you will be only spending 0.1 Solana for distributing your airdrop to all wallets you want. This is actually pretty important because it will make the difference if you take profit from making an airdrop or you don't. For example, if you want to make a massive airdrop campaign, that could be the best case to make noise, to attract people, you would be spending thousand dollars on making the airdrop. Not everyone will trust you when claiming uh, if you make a custom site, uh, so you can use solutions, as I said, like Smithy. The best way to farm interaction is not just promising the airdrop, is making quests or putting condition to receive the airdrop. In my opinion, it doesn't make sense. You can do it much better by doing giveaways, by doing an official partnership with them and um, basically making more noise. You make an airdrop to MATLAB and they interact with you. You will be not just reaching their holders, you will be reaching a ton of people that actually are in the network and interact with MATLAB's holders, uh, with MATLAB's project, etc. So that will bring new people and more buying pressure that will make a balance between those who are receiving the airdrop and selling and those who want to buy and join your project. Let me go quick to Smithy website and let me show you both options and the cost you will have by doing the airdrop. Anyways, if you want to make a good tokenomics strategy, here you have a video on how to craft your tokenomics for free. So this is Smithy. If you don't know us yet, um, we are basically the most used platform to launch tokens on Solana. If we don't take on a common bundle fund, which is really decent. Um, we actually have a ton of followers. We have made a ton of partnerships with quality projects. We have a large track record, okay? We have around 100 people using our tools in a daily basis and launching tokens with us. Um, when I talked about other campaigns, for example, we manage these other campaigns in terms of tech for uh, the professor, which is actually uh, one of our best partners. We made airdrops with them for WIF holders, PONC holders, etc. If you want to make an airdrop, uh, you need to take on account that um, the most efficient way is basically finding good communities to airdrop your token to, as I said. So if you need, you can take a snapshot of NFT holders or token holder in here as well. Like uh, you will be getting the list of holders of any collection or token uh, in an easy way and also about what I was talking about uh, the airdrop, we have these two different options, okay? We have the Solana Multisender and the claim set. Based on how much people you want to distribute the token to, you will be spending more or less, okay? If you are distributing a token, the wallet that receives the token doesn't hold, you will need to pay a fee of 0.02 Solana, just as transaction fee, and we as told charge 0.02 Zero, one Solana per wallet. If we go to economics calculator, we can go here to other details and we can select how much allocation and expected wallets are we using to the airdrop. And for example, if we expect to make an airdrop to 5,000 wallets, the total expenses will be 10.2 Solana. If we make two 10,000 holders, we will be spending 20 Solana, which is actually more than $2,000. You have the option of creating a claim set. As I said, 
In here, you have the tool, it's on a claim site. You can select the tokens, the quantity per wallet, and you can upload the list of everyone that will be able to claim the token in here. And the total fees for creating the claim site will be 0 0.1 so on. Um, it's actually much worth it in terms of expenses, as I said, because to making the cost 0.1 Solana, you will be dropping to 50, 50 wallets, okay? You will get a claim site where people get claim, okay? And um, they will just go claim and they will see their allocation and receive the tokens on their wallet. To save money, because instead of uh, paying you who pays the transaction fees, um, basically how it works on Solana, when you send a token to another wallet, uh, you need to create a token account into their wallet uh, and that's where the tokens are storage uh, into the person wallet so if you are sending the token to anyone else you will be paying the transaction fee if they are coming to your claim site and claiming the tokens they will be the ones paying that fee that 0.002 solana fee for creating the token account into their wallet and receiving those tokens that's the, the difference and that's the, the important way, okay? Just to finish and summarize, um, as I said, making an airdrop is worth it, but please remember you need to make it profit. Actually, catching people's attention is really difficult, even more in Web3 with thousand tokens launching every single day. So if you make it properly, an airdrop campaign actually can give you too much exposure you need to actually make noise and become a successful meme or token project or whatever, okay? So that's my take, that's my personal advice. I will make an airdrop if I were launching a token project and I want to make it properly. Uh, I think it's worth it, uh, but as I said, depends on how you manage it and how much you are able to spend, uh, I will make it or not, okay? I will just make an airdrop if I cover these conditions, okay? Only if I have at least $10,000 for making a campaign, only if my token have at least 10 to 20,000 dollars into the liquidity pool and only if I'm able to spend the time on making these partnerships and making it worth it. If you don't cover these conditions, I will just pass on making the airdrop and I will follow other options and strategies to attract people's attention when launching a meme coin. Okay, so that's all for today. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think. You think it's, it's worth it or not. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.